This is a special report brought to you by channel 789,673,402. We are reporting live about three countries in their run-in with poverty. Our report will cover Libya, Haiti, and Pakistan. Poverty is the state of one who lacks a certain amount of material possessions or money. Welcome to our special report about poverty. Absolute poverty is deprivation of basic human needs, such as food, water, sanitation, clothing, shelter, health care, and education. 25,000 people die from hunger every day because of lack of basic needs caused by poverty. There's plenty of food in the world, but these people are in severe poverty. This means they don't have enough money to buy food to nourish themselves. Because they are malnourished, it becomes easier to get sick because of their weakened immune systems. This makes it harder to work, creating a continuing cycle of poverty. Now over to my co-host Sammy to speak about our three countries, Libya, Haiti, and Pakistan. Thanks, Kate. Now we're going to talk about the geography of Libya, Haiti, and Pakistan. First, Libya has a Mediterranean coastline of nearly 1,800 kilometers. The Sahara Desert runs through most of Libya. It is the fourth biggest country in Africa. The climate is dry and extreme desert interior. Next, we will be talking about Haiti, which is slightly smaller than Maryland. The climate of Haiti is tropical and semi-arid and mostly rough with mountains. Located in the hurricane route, has earthquakes and yearly floods. The last country we will be talking about is Pakistan, which has a blend of landscapes varying from plains to deserts, forests, hills, and plateaus. Pakistan shares shares borders with Afghanistan, China, India, and Iran. Now back to you, Kate. Thank you, Sammy. Now on to Meredith to speak about the three countries' history and economy. Rightio, Kate! The first kind of civilizations of Libya were called the Berber tribes. Libya was the place of fighting during World War II. After the fall of Tripoli in 1943, it came under Allied administration. In 1949, the UN voted that Libya should become independent, and in 1951, it became the United Kingdom of Libya. Now on to Haiti. It began on December 5, 1492, and the Independence Day of Haiti is January 1, 1804. In 1804, they defeated the French forces, and they were declared an independent nation. In 2010, March 25th, President Obama asked Congress for a $2.8 billion special appropriation to pay for rescue costs and help to rebuild Haiti. This made Haiti a more noticed country and started to get the world's attention. Uh, Pakistan. Prior to creation as a modern state in 1947, the area of modern Pakistan was both ruled and reigned by local kings. Asif Ali Zadardi is now the elected president of Pakistan. Now on to economy. Libya's economy is based overwhelmingly on oil production through agriculture and livestock. The economy is heavily dependent on oil reserves, which account for more than 50% of gross domestic product and 95% of exports. Much of Libya's economy is centrally planned, allowing little room for private entrepreneurship. Now on to Haiti. Haiti has a good sugar industry. It has been called the balm of the masses. <laughs> and is considered to be very good quality sugar. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, so foreign assistance plays a big role in their economy. Overseas funding contributed as much as 70% of spending on economic and social development and 40% of the national budget. And lastly, Pakistan. It is the 27th largest in the world in terms of purchasing power parity and 44th largest in terms of nominal GDP. Pakistan has a semi-industrialized economy. A lot of income comes from the Indus River, and the economy has suffered in the past from decades of inter internal political disputes, a fast-growing population, mixed levels of foreign investment, and high defense spending. Back to you, Kate. Thank you very much, Meredith. Now onto the culture and economy of these three countries. men wear loose cotton shirts and trousers covered by a cloak. They often wear a flat, a flat brimless cap and women wear a full length robe. Most of the dishes in Libya are inspired by Mediterranean and Italian foods. The majority of the Libyans are also Muslim. In Haiti they speak French and the 
one of their main events is the carnival, where they have parades and they celebrate in the street. They are predominantly a, Christ a Christian religion-based country, and they are known for their, ri for their rich folklore traditions. <laughs> Pakistan is made up of many diverse and ethnic... <laughs> These Pakistan cultures have been greatly influenced by many of the surrounding countries' cultures. Pakistan society is largely a multi multilingual, multi-ethnic, and multicultural country. In Pakistan, food is a mix of Middle, Middle Eastern, Iranian, and Indian. Muslim Pakistans make up around 97% of population, so many festivals are based off the religion. Both men and women wear the traditional shalwar kameez, a long, loose-fitting tunic with baggy trousers. Now on to government. The government in Libya is a military dictatorship. It is the, the head of government is the Prime Minister al Zidan. In Haiti, the president is elected by popular vote, and the Prime Minister acts as the head of government elected by, pres elected by the president. The president is Michael Martelli. The prime minister is Laurel Lamo. In Pakistan, the federal government is established by Constitution of Pakistan as a centralized governing authority of the four provinces as proclaimed and established. Par parliamentary Democratic Republic constitutionally called the state of Pakistan. The order of operations constitutes the Westminster system and compromises three branches of government, the executive, the legislative, and the judiciary. Haiti is regarded as the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. The majority of the people make below one U.S. dollar per day. Poverty affects the Haitians in many aspects of everyday life, including housing, nutrition, education, health care, infant mortality rates, as well as the environment. In addition to their poverty, Haiti has had a long history of political instability, making it hard for them to build up any strong economy to help Haiti get back on the right track. Sammy speaks with a villager that lives in Haiti on how poverty affects her. Hello, this is Sammy reporting live from Haiti. Can you tell us how poverty affects you and your family? <laughs> well, poverty affects me and my family because my children are malnourished and all of our money must go towards buying food and clothing. We don't have money to spend on basic necessities such as running water and clothes. Do your kids understand what poverty means? They have never known anything different than how we are living now. They, they have never experienced very much. We hope that you and your country get back on your feet soon. Thank you. Poverty affects Pakistan but because the government estimates that 23.9% of the country lives underneath the poverty line and most governments fail to live up to their commitments of serving the people even though they have enough resources to support everybody in the country they have failed to do so. According to the United Nations, 40% of Libya's population of 6.4 million live below the poverty line. Libya is the fourth richest country in Africa due to Libya's oil reserves, but people of Libya don't see any of the money because the government takes it all. An interview live from Libya. Hello, this is Kate reporting live from Libya. Can you tell us how poverty affects you? Well, poverty affects me because it's hard to find a job. And I get sick easily from weak immune system because I don't get much nutritious food when I do have money. Does poverty affect your living conditions? All the money that I do make goes towards food and clothing, so I don't get much extra things. I mainly just get things I need to get by. Thank you for your time. I hope you get better soon. Me too. When we come back, we will talk about what is being done in these countries about poverty. Now on to a commercial break. Oh. I'm getting word from head of department that that is not allowed. <laughs> now on to what is being done for all these countries. Libya needs a better government who gives more money to the public, and a quote that explains what the people want is, We want freedom of speech, but we also want wealth to be shared, and we want prosperity, and that was said by Mr. Thomas.
Now to Haiti. Since the two, two since 2012 earthquake, most money has gone to getting people back on their feet and back into homes with people who needed to receive medical care. They are still recovering from this awful event. Haiti continues to have a high population increase, worsening their poverty level. If they were able to stabilize a stronger economy, government, and lower population growth, they could put themselves on a better track for a more stable country. And lastly, Pakistan. To establish equal laws for race and gender, seeing as gender equality is also a problem in Pakistan. Also, people deserve to be equal and treated with respect. Pakistan's government estimated 24% of the people live before, below the poverty line. Number declined 10% since 2001, but health and education numbers continue to stay low. Agriculture is the main rural economy. If other companies and more products became more of a moneymaker, their economy would be much better off removing them from poverty. Thank you for watching our special report tonight on channel 789,673,402. Informing you on poverty in our three countries. Thank you for watching and have a great day.